in your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3. We'll start reading on at verse 7. Hebrews 3, 7. I was thinking about it, and I uh, normally on Sunday mornings, I'm constrained on my time that I get to, uh, to teach the kids in junior church. Um, I kind of just have to go with what pastor does. Sometimes, no, not our pastor, but sometimes it goes a little bit longer. And uh, we have to keep the kids occupied a li- little bit longer. And sometimes we have to go shorter, but I don't quite have that constraint tonight. So I guess I can just go and go and go. Uh, no, I can't. I, I have to work tomorrow also. But um, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7, and we'll read to verse 13. Hebrews 3, 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you in the lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for the book of Hebrews that you've given to us, Lord, and thank you for um, these verses that you've given to us. And Father, I pray that um, as I speak these words, Lord, I pray that they would be a reflection of what your scriptures say and not anything except.